In this video I'm going to be replicating Boombox Deluxe's experiment by uh, submerging a hairdryer in a bucket of water in order to raise the temperature of the, of the water in the bucket. <clears throat> uh, let's see how well this operates. Uh, the water where I live is uh, quite pure and relatively salt free so the conductivity of it is quite low so that should mean that putting things like this into it uh, will not affect the current level much but since the the was it the element has got a positive temperature coefficient the resistance increases when the temperature of the element increases then what will happen is the cooling effect of putting this in the water will cause the element to draw more current that's because the resistance has dropped and we should see that on the ammeter up there uh, I'm going to run this in air and we're going to take some measurements I'm going to run it on high setting because I'm going to stick it on high setting when I stick it in there I'm not going to worry about the cool setting or anything because uh, you need to hold that button in to uh, turn on the cool setting which just basically turns off the main element and then a little low powered element used to power the motor so it's a hot resistor divider to power the motor in these things uh, it uses about 300 watts I think I measured it earlier but I'm not going to be holding that button down while that's in the bucket of water for obvious reasons. Uh, our voltage is currently sitting at about 250, 249. Can you see that? There we go, 250. Just jumping back and forward there. I'm going to set the rig up. Just set it to remote control mode. Okay, rig's on. Just make sure you can see the remote control's now on. If I turn that on, that hairdryer should switch on. So when that hairdryer is running at full speed, it's using about 8.1 amps, or 8.2 amps, if you want to round it. So 8.1 amps in here. Let's submerge that. Switch on. It's using 9.3 amps underwater. It's using slightly more power submerged. You can hear the motor struggling a tad. Let's uh, turn that around and pull out the water. Pumping, definitely pumping water. So I gotta be very careful because there is not an RCD on this circuit. Oh, look at it go. Yeah, if that was to happen. Uh, if it was plugged in on the shed circuit and that was to happen, the water would trickle down the side of the bucket, make contact with earth and the water in the bucket and trip the RCD. I'm going to leave that running until the water's steaming. Got myself a cup of coffee. Also grabbed the voltage tester because I want to try something. Now that's making contact with earth on the socket and I'm going to take this probe and I'm going to dunk it in the water and see the voltage, if any, we get. So we get about 94, 95 volts. And it's uh, increasing. If I dunk that bulb in further, go near there. 
So that's at 100 volts. 113 volts. Let's go near the end. So yeah, you wouldn't want to stick your hand in that. Let's unplug this. See how hot this water is. Oh, that's nice and hot. I wonder if we can get it to go hotter. See if we get the water to boil. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Put that back in. Turn it back on. And I'm going to leave it another five minutes. So we've got a little spider investigating. Now, <clears throat> We are up to about 10.7, 10.8 amps now. This thing is still, come on, focus. This thing is still running. The water looks mighty hot. Uh, a few of the bugs that have landed in it have, uh, well, <laughs> they've cooked alive. I don't think that was the the electricity that did that because uh, I put the two, I put the probes in. And uh, the potential difference between the two probes wasn't great, but I'll show you. I'll try not. It shouldn't be much. Yeah, it's just measuring continuity pretty much. So the electricity definitely did not kill the bug. It was the heat. That is hot. That bucket is. really really soft <laughs> when that ticks over to a thousand watt hours i'm going to cut the power and uh call the experiment that cup of coffee i had was uh disgusting i made it in a cafeteria that had been sitting on the shelf uh rinsed it out and it tasted like it had some linseed oil in it. I have no idea. But there was some weird shit floating on it. I took a drink of it and was like, nope. Poured it out and uh, we now have a cup of tea which is uh, fitting for this experiment. That spider is really going to town with its little, little adventure. We'll observe the spider since uh, well, nothing's really happening there. <laughs> When that reaches a uh, well, when that reaches a thousand watt hours or one kilowatt hour, I'm going to cut the power. I'll just push the intermediate button, and it's ready. Bucket is steaming. That water is hot. Okay, we're at one kilowatt hour. I'm not going to stick my hand in that, not because uh, it's live, because it is not live at all, because I've unplugged it. It's because I can see bubbles in it, <laughs> I can feel the heat off of it. That water is boiling. Oh yeah, yeah, that is hot. uncomfortably hot to hold. I'll just try to shake some of the water out of that. Oh shit. Fucking hell. Hot water. I'm gonna set that aside and I'll plug it in. I'm gonna let the let it dry itself out. Now it's using what it was before I dunked it in the water. All right. I think that's pretty much it. I don't have a thermometer to stick in that, but.
Yeah, that's hot. Wait a second, I've got a kind of a way of showing how hot it is. I think it's cup of tea time. <laughs> I'm not going to drink this. This bucket's been sitting outside for weeks. <laughs> but you can definitely tell that that's hot. <laughs> that won't happen in cold water. <laughs> you can see the steam coming off it. Ooh, what's that? Some grass. There we go. That shite out. <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? Make a cup of tea with a bucket and a hairdryer. I think I'll stick with this one. Thanks for watching.